it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today is Scrubby Sunday. I made Scrubby Sunday up as a day where uh, I show a dishcloth pattern that I made at some point that week. It could be knitted, it could be crocheted. This gave me a chance if I wanted to throw in some knitting and simple knitting because I'm not really like an expert knitter or anything, but I was hoping to knit a little bit here and there and maybe work up my skills. So um, that's really why I started it. And dishcloths are a nice, easy way. And along the way, I found some really, really nice crocheted dishcloth patterns too. So I'm gonna throw in whatever I feel like for Sunday. And since I'll be making a lot of dishcloths and I don't really need to have that many dishcloths, I'm going to do a giveaway the last Sunday of every month for the dishcloths that I made that month. So we've had a winner for January and this is the last Sunday in February. So we'll be having a giveaway for the ones that I made this month. So I'll show you and I'll link all the patterns that I used down below this month. They were all free patterns. So the first one is a knitted one. The one that I made the first week of the month. It looks like this. It's made with Karen cotton cakes and it feels so good. This dishcloth feels amazing. The, the ridges are really nice. And the pattern for this is linked below, but if you're a knitter, you wouldn't need a pattern for this. You just cast on a certain number of stitches. I don't remember what it was. You could refer to the pattern for that if you were interested. And then you just knit every single row for the stockinette, or not stockinette, the um, garter stitch. I'm sorry, I'm still new, uh, new to using these terms. This is the garter stitch. And then you just keep doing the rows until it's either the desired length or the length that they tell you in the pattern. So this one was a nice, easy one. And then I found a three piece set for crocheted dishcloths that I fell in love with. It's called the Dinner Trio and it's a free pattern from Yarnspirations. And I will link that pattern, a link to that pattern down below if you are interested in making them for yourself. So it is so cute. It's a cherry pie. And somebody had pointed out to me that you don't have to make it a cherry pie. You could make it a blueberry pie or whatever you wanted. And I thought that was so true. You know, if you didn't have red to use for the cherry part, you could use blue or any uh, any other color for any type of uh, pie that you would choose to. And then there's a coffee cup mug and then there's eggs over toast. So I made them in order that they listed them in the pattern. So the second week of the month, I did the cherry pie because that was the first pattern listed there. And I love the way they turned out. You, you make a circle with the red color, or if you were gonna make a different flavored pie, you would use the color that you wanted to. And then you make the crust part here, and then you crochet the two circles together and then the fancy trim, and then it has a hook holder. So this was really, I was really surprised by how easy all three of these patterns were. They were, they, they look really neat, but they were also very, very easy to make. So the second pattern that was listed, I made this the third week, was the eggs over toast. And this one was probably the quickest of all of them. It just whipped up so fast. The patterns are so easy. All of the patterns here have a hook, so that's kind of nice. And I know they're very decorative, but if you were to use them, this would really have a nice, the egg would have a really nice texture when you were scrubbing the, the pot. You know, it would help to get some of the grime off of it. So, and these are easy to make. So if you wanted to actually use them as a dishcloth, you could use it up and then just whip up another one if you liked it that much. And then this past week, I worked on the last one, which is a cup of coffee. They do call it coffee. Um, I'm good. If it were mine, I would say it was tea because I never uh, acquired a taste for coffee. Even with lots of sugar and cream, I never really acquired a taste for it. So some people have said I haven't grown up because of that. So, oh well. <laughs> it's just my weird taste buds. But this was really cute. And this one was also easy. I made this one while the boys were 
it, at their bowling league yesterday. When I drive them to their bowling league, I just stay and wait with them. And so I made it while they were bowling. Uh, it has a handle and a hook. The only thing that throws me off a little bit is that the handle, like as you're facing, you would be using your left hand to drink. And so when I made it, I was like, oh no, this isn't right. Cause I would use, I'm right-handed. So I would use my right hand to drink, but it's really cute. I'll explain the giveaway in a minute, but first I just wanted to do kind of a really quick weekly update. I had said last week that I was going to start writing lists. Um, I had seen other stations do this and I think it's great. I think it's a great way to keep yourself organized and to try to help keep you on track for projects that you wanna get done. So I don't have the fancy um, weekly planner that they have, but this one is pretty darn nice. We had this in our house for some reason. I'm not really sure where we got it. It's just a regular notebook that has like an elastic band that can open and close or that can hold the book closed. And then um, I thought I might put some patterns in there, but I haven't put anything in there yet. There's a nice little plastic flap there that you could put papers. And then, excuse me, then there's just the notebook. So, so far what I have in the notebook are the list of everybody who's things in things we're making Thursday. And I actually have a note here that I wanna put in the next video. So I have a checklist here for last week and then my checklist for this week. So last week I have a check mark by everything but one. And this one is kind of an ongoing one. So the I did continue my band buddy pattern and tutorial and I'll give an update on that tomorrow because I do that every Monday. I did talk about my next design for wearable Wednesday. I made a dishcloth for scrubby Sunday. I finished my it's a hoot owl basket and then introduced the new pattern. Um, and I finished creating the pattern for the mystery crochet along in March. Now that's just the pattern. I haven't filmed the tutorial for it yet. I just worked up a pattern because I wanted to make sure that I had it good to go. I had in my mind what I wanted to do, but it was good to, to, um, get a pattern together because, uh, that, that way I, I had, when I was making the pattern, I did have to rip out a little bit and redo what I was thinking you know, how I was thinking it would work. But I think that you guys will really like it. I posted a community, in my community tab, I posted what you would need for the crochet, the mystery crochet along if you'd like to participate. So if you'd like to get the materials ready a while, I think it will be the second week of March that I'll put the tutorial videos out. So you have about a week to, to get together what you might need for the crochet along. And the last thing that I didn't have checked off was work on a buddy, bunny pattern for a tutorial. I had somebody, and I forget who, I'm so sorry, somebody did request of me that I could, if I could do a bunny pattern and do a video tutorial of it. And I said that I would, and they had asked several times. So this is something I will do. Um, and hopefully, hopefully this week I'll be able to get started on that. I have to make up the pattern and then I would do the tutorial. So for this week, it's kind of a lot of the same. I want to continue the band bunny pattern tutorial. I mean, if I'm, if I'm really ambitious, maybe I could finish it. The only thing I have left now are the flag for, or for the color guard girl, the flag, the, um, rifle and the baton. So I'm hoping those won't take too long. Uh, but I could see myself finishing this pattern in the next two weeks. And I started all of this process probably in October, maybe even September. It's, if you're not familiar with what Band Buddy is, it's um, when, it, my, my son has been in the marching band, this is his second year. And I thought it would be really cute to make marching band amigurumi. So I'm doing a pattern book where you can have the basic band body. There's several wig options. There's the uniform, every single instrument. So if you wanted to just make one, you would use the basic body, choose the wig that you wanted, and then the instrument you wanted. Or if you wanted to make the whole entire band, you could make one dude or more multiple dudes for each instrument. 
And then there's a color guard girl and her wig and then the flag, the rifle and the baton. Uh, but it's been a really long process because I've been writing up the pattern, uh, getting it ready for publishing and hopefully fingers crossed, I'll, I'll be able to get it published. And then I also, this is the first pattern book where I've put a link to a video tutorial on how to make it in every single pattern. So when you buy the pattern, you would also be buying a video tutorial to go along with that. This is a video tutorial that you would have to have the link in order to access. It's not going, it's not something that will show up in a search. This is just strictly for the people who buy the pattern. And so I'm really excited about getting that checked off because it's been taking, you know, a long time. It's probably before it's all done, it's going to be at least a half a year. Um, so that's what that is. So I'm going to continue working on that. Hopefully this week, if not this week, then the following week I'll have every single pattern finished. And that is just really exciting to me. I'll continue showing what I've been working on for Wearable Wednesday. If you're not, I have a playlist of that. If you're not sure what that is, it's um, just I wanted to get more comfortable making crocheted clothing. Uh, and so I'm just going to keep trying different patterns and see if I can get a little better at that. And if you wanted to come along on this journey with me, you're more than welcome. I did introduce the pattern um, on Wednesday. So if you wanted to, it's a free pattern. If you wanted to download it and do it with me, you're more than welcome to. Make the next dishcloth for Scrubby Sunday. My goal is to do a knitted one this week because I just spent the last three weeks doing crocheted ones, but we'll see what I can find. So uh, continue pillow pattern for things we're making Thursday. And I have a playlist for things we're making Thursday as well. Everybody who's a part of that is in my playlist. So it's not just my videos. So if you're interested in going, you can check that out from that playlist. Finish filming the mystery crochet along. And I think that will be done this week so that I can release it the following week, which I believe will be this. So I have to check my dates, but that'll be coming along and then work on the bunny pattern tutorial. I'm hoping to start that. I really want to get started on that. I don't want to uh, disappoint my subscribers. And I know that there was one that was very, very interested in that. So that's, that's a goal I'm hoping to start. So now for the giveaway. Um, YouTube is not affiliated with this giveaway. I purchased all the yarn for it. I made it myself. You have to be 18 to enter, at least 18. And I think that's about everything for it. So the giveaway is just for the, the four dishcloths that I made this month. And if you're interested, I'd like you to email me, put in the subject line dishcloth so that I can keep my email straight. And then you just need to email your name and your address. Put what I would need in order to ship it out. So um, I've had people just put their first name, but if I was shipping it with just a first name, that would look weird. I, so I would need your first and last name and your address. And then I'm gonna do the drawing on Tuesday. So let me see what the date for that is. I believe it's the 27th, but let me double, or yeah, maybe. Alexa, what's the date this coming Tuesday? February 28th, 2023 is on a Tuesday. Okay, it's the 28th. That was a day off. I'm sorry. So the drawing will be on Tuesday, the 28th. Um, and what I'll do is in the order of the emails received, I'll make a list. And then the day of the drawing, I'll ask my Echo device for a random number between one and however many um are participating and whatever number she picks will be the winner and this is open worldwide so feel free wherever you are the only thing about worldwide is that if you live in an area where you have to pay like some kind of tax or duty or whatever to receive the mail that will be on you um my what all i'm doing is paying to ship it from my post office that's that's all that I'm doing. So if there's any fees beyond that, and you have to make sure that it's an address that can be shipped to from the United States. I don't know all of the rules, so if you send me an address, I'm just gonna take for granted that it is one that I would be able to ship to. 
So good luck if you're entering. I hope everybody has a great rest of their weekend and I'll see you tomorrow for Band Buddy updates. Bye.